inspiring students all across North Texas to dream big. And joining us this morning is motivational speaker Gabe Salazar. Thank you for being here, first of all. Thank you, Lauren. So I have a tween, and yeah. I have to tell you, the teen years, like the middle school years, are already scaring me. She's a great kid, but I, I you know, the, just the, the middle school age is I don't know. I think I'm just so worried about it. But that's the age you target. Like, those are the people you want to talk to, huh? In my opinion, I think, you know, it's so great to be able to have fun, be anecdotal, share positive information about goal setting and dreaming big. And they can laugh at some of the jokes, but also say, I get it. Yeah. And I have a big dream. What can I do to get there? And I yeah, you share your story, and I it's do. not a story of all positive. Homelessness, abandonment. My father was found tragically dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Oh. You know, I don't talk a lot about how or why. I, don't, I have questions myself. But what I do share with kids is I know what it's like to hold anger, bitterness, and resentment, mm -hmm. struggles, and, like, wondering, who am I in this world? Where do I fit in this place? Mm -hmm. And I help kids walk through um, how I figured it out and how they can find that as well. Yeah. Uh, Garland, Carrollton, Plano. I've been watching you, and you're going Everywhere. to all these different schools, so you, you've been hitting a lot, lot of them. And you do tackle some tough topics. I know, um, I you know, we've talked about uh, the teen overdoses from fentanyl right now. Uh, there's, you know, mental health is an issue right now. Um, what is it that we need to do to, to help these kids? What is it that you are hearing and yeah. that you're seeing and that you think is helping? Absolutely. You know, and parents, I think, need to understand communication to teenagers is more challenging. One, because <laughs> their, their attention span is so short. Mm. And so, um, you know, learning things and, and navigating. So I, I encourage parents, like, put your hat to the side, say, yo, 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 slay, <laughs> bet. I'm just kidding. Don't, do not do Use that. Use the lingo. Do not do that's, that. That's what my daughter goes, oh, mom, <laughs> stop. <laughs> but you know, having conversations is 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 different from even boys to go. See, I'm a, more than more than a speaker. I'm a father, right. and with my son, we went through this very old book that he found in my bookshelf called "Old Enough to Know" by Michael W. Smith. Oh. And every night we'd read one chapter, and then I, afterwards I'd say, "What did that mean to you?" And All he right. said, "Well, Dad, that meant uh, you know, great." And so I try not to give more information that's needed, and mm -hmm. it was amazing how he began to put the pieces together and ask the right questions. I want his brain working now for our daughter. Um, and there's parents that like, they have these kids that like, hey, how was school? Fine. What did you eat? Food. What did you learn? Things, right? <laughs> okay, one word. So I, I created this activity with, with one of my daughters. It, it was a, it, I, I'd say, fact your opinion. That's all. You just tell me one word. Fact your opinion. Sky's blue. Ocean is deep. We live in Texas. Best state in the nation. Whataburger's better than in and out right? And she'd laugh and i say, fact your opinion. You're beautiful. Hmm, that. Fact your opinion, you're loved unconditionally by me and mama. Fact your opinion, Aww. your future is great and beautiful. First couple of times, you cry, 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 cry. Yeah. A couple of times after that, she'd say, fact, fact, fact. You know, there's power in words. Words have an energy attached to them. And if anybody's affirming that they're loved, valued, unconditionally, have a great future, they need to be reminded from mom and dad, from a guardian, somebody who's helping them walk through their journey in life. Yeah. Just to hear that you're loved really can make make all the difference absolutely and even if they don't want to hear it you just tell them <laughs> right right 100 percent well thank you for coming in i appreciate it we're going to put more. a link to all of his uh all of his details all of his social media uh gabe salazar it's on our website fox4news.com appreciate your time thank you. thanks for talking to the kiddos <laughs>